Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today feels like the first day of spring, so when I was offered a cheap convertible earlier, it seemed like a no-brainer. Unfortunately, it's a diesel manual Peugeot 207cc, so let's not get carried away. But the principle's still the same. You can drop the roof and get some wind in your hair and some flies in your mouth. Lovely. That's if the roof works, of course, and being an old Peugeot, it probably doesn't. Still, I've only paid £500 for this car, so I can't really go wrong, can I? Can I? Can I? Like I said, it's a diesel, and generally speaking, Peugeot diesels are... they're all right. Well, they're better than the petrols, anyway. If the French know how to do one thing well, apart from striking and eating cheese, it's how to make a decent diesel engine. Apart from that one they use in Land Rovers that always seems to snap its crank. In fact, thinking about it, I don't know where I'm really going with this. I bought this off a friend of mine, and it belonged to a friend of his, and he's kindly dropped it off for me. Not in the usual car park, no. He's dropped it off in a storage yard that I'm currently using, which used to be a scrap yard. So I'm hoping that isn't a sign. I'm just hoping it's slightly better than scrap, but it's 50-50, isn't it? Who knows? Anyway, right, let's go and have a look, shall we? I'll see you there. Well, we're here. It always makes me laugh coming to this place because it's just littered with my scrap, basically. That's my Hyundai Tucson. I haven't done a video with that, but it came in part exchange and it's only done 70, it's petrol, and I just thought it had a little bit of life left in it. So I've spent six or seven hundred pounds on it, getting it through a clean MOT, and it will continue to be on the roads for a little bit longer. That's my O2 Range Rover, uh, that's my courtesy car, that's my Renault Velsatis. I was going to do a video with that, because it's now nearly done, but the clutch collapsed. That's my Navara with no chassis, that's my Jeep Cherokee with no chassis, and that's the Peugeot. Last but not least. So it's black. Oh, it's got a leather interior. That's a GT then, isn't it, with a leather interior? Sad. The headlamps want buffing. It's a 2008. Eh. Uh, I've seen worse. I've bought worse. Right, let me do a quick vehicle history check then using Car Vertical. Let's see if we can learn a little bit more about this old Peugeot. So it's really easy to use, all you do is go to carvertical.com, type in the reg or the VIN. Now in this case it is Yankee Lima 08, so it's a Yorkshire car. Uniform Juliet Victor, check vehicle. This will tell us whether it's ever been stolen, written off, had a mileage rollback, or has outstanding finance on it. And it's really important that you do one of these checks before you hand over any cash for a used car or motorbike. If you'd like to save yourself 20% off each and every check that you do, use my promo code HIGHPEAK. That's HIGHPEAK, all one word, or alternatively, click the link below in the video description. It's as easy as that. It's currently checking databases in dozens of countries. I just want to see what was going on in the last MOT. I'm told it's done 130,000 miles. I mean, in its day, and its day was a long time ago. Let's not forget that. In its day, that was quite a desirable car, really. A black GT convertible with a leather interior. Right, and the report's ready. So let's check this out. So it's never been clocked. There's no outstanding finance. There's no recorded accident damage. That's good. And it's never been stolen. Perfect. And its last MOT had done 130,000 miles, nearly 131. And it had only done a couple of thousand miles a year since. Right. Okay. Well, since 2020, when the world shut down, it had only done, it had done 129 at that point. But, hmm, the last MOT was in June 21. That's nearly three years ago. Which means, it means there's no current MOT on this. We can't test drive it. What a bummer. That's a shame, isn't it? I was really looking forward to driving this. This is interesting. The average market price for such a vehicle is two and a half grand. Might be worth fixing, mightn't it? It's the 89 horsepower diesel. Alright, okay then. Let's see if there are any advisor items on the last MOT. It's had a plate change. So since the ownership changed in 2019, it's done very few miles, really. Right, okay then. It failed, and there were a few advisory items. Hmm. I suppose we need to go and have a look around it then, don't we? We could drive it just down this little lane. But it makes me wonder why... Where's it been sitting for three years? Unless someone's passed away, perhaps. We've only got the one key, but it is a flip key, and it still works, I think. Well, the flip does, at least. We've got a number there for the RAC, which uh, might come in handy later. Okay then. Well, there she is. 
we've got some curbed abused wheels faded headlamps that need a buff mold everywhere and I mean everywhere I know mold's not the right word is it but I don't really know how else to describe it but it's just been parked up for a very long time this look at that in the mirror Oof, I just got, just got a whiff of mould then inside. Lovely. On the back then we've got its original Evans Holshaw plate. Now tyre-wise, uh, that is a triangle, no expense spared. Up front we've got a land sale, right. I'm building, a, uh, building an image here of how this car's been looked after. That's been uh, opened against a door there and creased. Still, £500, I can't complain, can I? Will it start, though, is the question. What have we got here? We've got a Sport X tyre. Oh, that's from Triangle. Oh, couch there. That actually is looking like the better buy than that right now. And we've got land sales. So we've got land sales on the front, Triangle's on the back. There we go. <laughs> right, this really isn't good for your health, is it? Breathing in all this minging mold let me open this one create a through draft right well we've got a leather interior we've got lots of aldi tat from the center aisle look at this have you ever seen something like this that's a piece of wood that he's or she no it's a he isn't it i guess it's a he They've made to fit in that little storage. I mean, that's quite a clever idea, really, isn't it? I was mocking at first, but that's actually quite clever. Somebody with a lot of time on their hands, though. It's got the phone holder there, and then that, I guess, for a notepad. I don't know. What? What on earth? Why would you... Got lots of wires here for lots of aftermarket tat. Deary me. Plenty of sockets here, because you never know. One's never enough, is it? Let's get more of them. Don't know what that is, to be honest. Do you know? USB points. Classic Peugeot build quality down here. Uh, right. That's off the battery, I think, isn't it? We've got that, which you put around the uh, handbrake and gear lever, I think, so no one steals it. Which on a car like this is a complete waste, isn't it? Nobody's gonna steal this. Nobody in their right mind. Is there any service history? Let's have a look then, shall we? Oh, I see a book. We're in luck here, I think. Carry out MOT and repairs, that was in 2019. Brake calipers. And the service book here, right. Let's have a look. Oh, it's looking good. It was done in 07, 08, 10, 10, 12, 13. Uh, and then nothing. Good job it was only 11 years ago, it's last service, otherwise I'd be worried now. Um, should we fire up that? Oh, there's the notepad. That could have gone around that little thing there, couldn't it? And a pen. They're good pens, actually. So far then, that's the best thing about this car. Oh, we've got more tat up it. Hang on, look at this. We've got more tat. Is that for a sat nav? I don't know, that doesn't feel like the best quality. An auto dimming mirror though. And we've got, look at this black mold. Mold everywhere. Oh dear. Everywhere, on the roof, all over the valance. Oh dear. Do you ever stop and think, what am I doing with my life? Just had one of those moments. I'm sat in a scrapyard in Stockport in a mouldy 207cc. Where did it all go wrong? Right, well, it is as flat, flat as anything. So, I need to get this jumped, don't I? Luckily for me, this isn't my first rodeo. In the boot of my Range Rover, as always, is my uh, booster pack. So let's go and get some power on this battery and see if it fires up. 
pop that then. There's not much resistance there. Right. What have we here then? We've got the old HDI 16 there. Bosch battery, which is completely dead. Tell you what, I always come prepared. Hook this up like so. I always forget which one you're supposed to do first, but on something like this, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh. Oh, we've got power. It's alive, I think. It is alive. Shut my door before my battery goes flat. Let's see if this croc starts then, shall we? Oh, we've not looked in the boot, have we? What have we got here? Genuinely wasn't expecting that. We've got a, um, a soiled blanket. Looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? This may or may not have been owned by somebody that was into uh, kidnapping. We've got a dehumidifier, that's that's working over time. Need one of those up front, really. We've got some, I don't even want to, I don't even want to root. It's like, like a crime scene, this. Machine mark, bit of light reading. Some water. Is that a ground sheet? I don't know. Not really into camping. Uh, no idea, no idea. I just wanted to see if my roof works. So you've got to close that, haven't you? And the roof should fold back into this. But I don't know about you, but I've not got much faith in it. We'll try it. We'll give it a whirl. Okay then, will it start? Oh yes, we've got capital. I oh, know we haven't, Q103. Was there a CD in? Nope. Uh, it's telling me it's the 1st of January, 2003. Well, it fired right up. Sounds... Sounds like it's chuffing a little bit. But look at the fuel gauge. We've got three quarters of a tank of diesel. Right. Well, she fired straight up. Who'd have thought it? <coughs> <coughs> right. Let's put this roof down then, shall we? I think you've got to press and hold this one. It's making all the right noises. Oh, yes. I'm just going to get cold water down my back. I can feel it. Oh, ye of little faith. There we go. And my mouldy roof problem is now a thing of the past. Quite impressed. Yeah, can you hear that chuffing? Injector seal or something? Who wants to see if this thing drives? We can go down this little private road, can't we? Try and do a wheel spin. Right, my window is a little bit reluctant to um, play along. My heater works, it stinks of diesel. So that is a, a chuffing injector. I can hear it, I can smell it, I can feel it. Ooh, we've got auto lights. Cleaned up, if you got rid of all this tat, it would tidy up all right, this. Nothing really wrong with it. I'm not putting my seatbelt on because it'll be full of my... No, it's not. It feels... I'm not bothering, we're on a private road. It feels damp, but it isn't mouldy. Steering feels all right. We've got a nice leather steering wheel, like you'd get on a sportier model. I never liked this gear lever. Because... Watch this hump, I always rip off sumps on the... Oh dear, I think we've got a cracked spring. You hear that boing? You... Oh, oh, we be <laughs> we're beached here, I think. Oh, felt painful. Yeah, cracked spring. You hear that boingy noise? Ah, dear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't good. 
but my roof works. You can't have it all, can you? This thing, I should have checked, but it sounds like my exhaust hanging on by a thread. Some people there going for a walk thinking, what is that idiot doing? With cameras all over his old Peugeot. Performance test. Brakes work. Brakes work. Peace and quiet. Right, this isn't gonna pass an MOT, is it? Because my exhaust is dangling. I've got cracked springs. I don't even wanna do this again. Oi! Right, I'm gonna park this up and leave it before something breaks. Handbrake works. Shall we, for a bit of fun, give the keys to my mechanic and just see if it'll pass an MOT or see what's wrong with it. We'll get them to, uh, to do an inspection and then give me a, a list, which I imagine will be very long, but happily, we've got a, a brand new notepad here with lots of pages left and lots of ink in the pen. So, you know, we're all equipped, prepared, aren't we? I think that's the best thing to do, isn't it? Let's see then if this roof will go back up. Moment of truth. You can barely hear it, can you? What a piece of quality. Keep expecting a creature to come out and grab me by the neck or something. There we go. If it's one thing the French know how to do, it's how to build a car that lasts. I think actually I'm going to back this round so that it's easier to pop the bonnet. Because my guess is this battery's goosed. And it'll need jumping again. Watch my Tucson. Don't damage that, do we? My 05 Tucson. Perfect. Right, I'll have an answer for you guys very soon. I look forward to it, do you? And we're back in my uh, scrapyard. It really is like death row, this place. It is full of tat, basically. The Persia 207 Coupe Cab isn't worth repairing, sadly. My mechanic, well, my mechanic, she called me and started rattling off all the issues, but I was busy, I was driving, I was on hands-free. The signal kept fading in and out, so I thought, just leave me a list in the car and I'll, I'll go through it at my leisure which is exactly what we're going to do today. So let's go and have a look around it, shall we? In addition to the exhaust hanging off and the flat battery and the slight misfire and the chuffing injectors, I want to see what else they've found. So somewhere in this lovely little French uh, sports coupe, which stinks of mold, nice squeaky door there, is a long list of faults. Hang on. Right, let's do this outside before I uh, get legionnaires or something. Are you ready? Auxiliary drive belt cracking. Battery flat, we know that. Offside number plate light in op. That's all fine. So that's, that's easy to fix, those three. Number four, front disc worn. Number five, rear disc worn. Okay, we're into a few hundred pounds there. Exhaust hanging off. Uh, and also the exhaust blowing from the flexi, which is rotten. Full system required. That's gonna be quite pricey then. Near side rear coil spring snapped, which is that boing noise, which we heard when we uh, took it for a quick spin. Rear brake flexi cracked. Front brake flexi cracked. Corrosion within 30 centimeters, right, this is the serious thing. Corrosion within 30 centimeters of a uh, chassis something or other. Yeah, there is, there's separation on the spot weld, so that needs some welding. The gearbox mount is worn, hence all the rattles and vibrations. Somebody in the woods there. Like when the Blair Witch. Aircon condenser perished, so the aircon doesn't work. But we've got an <laughs> this is disconcertingly vague. We've got an oil leak, unknown origin, and injector seals leaking. I'm quite proud of myself because I diagnosed most of those things. It's very crinkly that paper, like there's a water leak. 
I diagnose lots of those issues myself, so I do know what I'm talking about, don't I? Give myself a pat on the back. So I think what I'm gonna do, I need to do some housekeeping really. I've got an awful lot of scrap in this car park. Well, I say car park, it used to be a scrap yard and I've single-handedly turned it back into one. What I'm gonna do is scrap this, scrap that, scrap that, scrap that. And then I'll feel better. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my mind. There's some money back in the bank. I will have blown some money, granted, but you can't win them all, can you? So I think I'm gonna call Jay Davidson, my local scrap dealer, and get them to come and collect these cars. Jay Davidson scrap. Bonjour. Hey, Hi, it's Matt at High Peak Autos. How are you doing? How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. I've got um, quite a few scrap cars here, if you wouldn't mind um, collecting them for me, please. Where are you calling from? High Peak Autos. Are they all complete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, what else have you got going? I've got a Peugeot 207 CC. Yeah. I've got a Nissan Navara pickup truck. And I've got a Jeep Cherokee. The, the 207 yeah. 210 each, the Navara and the Cherokee 320 each. Right, okay. All right, no worries. I'm going to say, if we can collect them Thursday, <laughs> potentially a couple of them might not come to Friday. Yeah, fine. Do, there's no Friday rush. Days, yeah, there's right. no rush. Yeah, fine, fine. All right, no worries. No worries. Oh, Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Let me just work out my total loss then. This is going to be like an episode of Bargain Hunt, isn't it? Where they get really excited when they lose two pounds or make two pounds. The Peugeot cost me £500 and I've sold it for 210 That's a loss of 290 That cost me £350 and I've sold it for 210 So that's a loss of £140. So, so far, then just to give you a running total, we've lost 290 plus 140, that's 430. That cost me £500, I think, and I'm getting 320 back. So that's a 180 loss. That's a £610 loss. The Cherokee, I can't even remember. It's been a while there. I think it was seven or eight hundred pounds. Then the lads at Transformation put new tyres on it, new springs, all that sort of stuff, because we did an off-road day with it, which was good fun, actually. So I think that cost me another six or seven hundred pounds. <laughs> Let's forget that one, because I don't want to get all, uh, all depressed. On the bright side, yes, I might have lost a thousand pounds or something, but I'm going to get a thousand pounds back from Jay Davidson when they do me a bank transfer for all this scrap. And then with that thousand pounds, I can go and buy a little Fiesta for a thousand pounds and then hopefully sell it for 1750. And then we move. That's pretty much it. Can't get too uh, bogged down in these losses, can you? So I think that's about it. Right, well, as you've just heard, they'll be here tomorrow and the next day to collect all these headache cars. And then my headache's gone. No profit, granted, but I'm without a headache, which is a good thing. And I've got some space, so I can fill it back again with tat. Never-ending uh, revolving door of scrap. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link below. And yeah, cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>